Welcome to Triangle Congruence by Angle Side Angle and Angle Angle Side. I'm Mr. Polarski and this is part two of this lesson. Example three, we'll get started off by writing out our given as we mark it. We're given that angle S is congruent to angle Q. So that's this angle here congruent to this angle here. And we're also told that RP bisects it's not RR, but RP. We'll just change that. RP. Bisects angle SRQ. SRQ, that angle on the bottom. So. In essence, what that's going to mean is that this angle here, SRP, and angle SR or QRP are going to be congruent because of the definition of angle bisector. This segment bisects an angle, therefore the two halves are going to be equal. So let's go ahead and get that written down. Angle PRS is going to be congruent to angle... PRQ, and that's the definition of angle bisector. So we can mark them congruent. Now, uh, we're talking about angle side angle and angle angle side. You can see we have two corresponding angles congruent. We would need to be able to prove SR congruent to QR to use angle side angle there's no way to do that with this diagram so what we're going to have to do is establish that PR is congruent to itself because of the reflexive property that's how we write PR is congruent to itself PR is congruent to PR and that's because of the reflexive property And of course, that's the reflexive property of congruence. So now we have a side and two angles, and the side's the non included side, so we have angle, angle, side, and both marked in both of our triangles. So we can then go right ahead and get to the proof statement that triangle SRT is congruent to triangle QRP. and that would be because of angle angle side now their example proving two triangles congruent angle B is congruent to angle D so we mark that angle B and D are congruent we're also told that Segment AB is parallel to segment CD. We mark two lines parallel by putting just a little arrowhead on each line. So we do that, we write it down into our given. And we have to prove the triangle ABC, this triangle on the top and triangle C, D, A are congruent, the triangle on the bottom. Now, since we're talking about parallel lines, uh, any time you're talking about parallel lines or parallel line segments, you want to think about the five special angle pairs formed. You have alternate interior angles, alternate exterior angles, same side interior angles, same side exterior angles, and corresponding angles. In proofs, most of the time you're trying to identify angles as equal or congruent, so we would want to focus on alternate interior, alternate exterior, or corresponding angles. In this particular proof, if AB, this top line and this bottom line are parallel, uh, angle A or BAC and angle DCA would be alternate interior angles and that's actually the angle we're going to want to prove 
congruent to itself, but maybe that'll be more clear if we establish that this side, the side they share, is congruent to itself because of the reflexive property. So side AC or segment AC is congruent to itself. And a property we use a lot of is the reflexive property. Uh, so since we have two sides, we need side angle side. These angles I'm marking congruent with blue are the angles we need to establish are congruent. And that would be angle BAC congruent to angle DCA. And if we look at them, and I've already mentioned this, if these are the parallel lines, these are alternate interior angles. So that'd be the alternate interior angles theorem. So we have enough to write our prove statement into our proof. We have proved that angle or triangle ABC is congruent to triangle CDA. And that would be by side angle side. Our given statement is that XQ is parallel to TR. We just talked about parallel lines in our last example. So XQ is parallel to TR. XR bisects QT. So what that means for us is that XR bisects QT, M is the point that bisects QT or splits QT in half. So TM is going to be congruent to QM. So we're going to have to uh, prove these triangles congruent knowing that uh, we have one side uh, congruent. So we can establish then that TM is congruent to QM and that's the definition of segment bisector. So we mark that congruent to that. Uh, we can also establish that QM or XMQ, XMQ is congruent to RMT. Angle XMQ is congruent to angle RMT. And that's because of the vertical angles theorem. They are vertical angles. And coming back to the idea of parallel lines, if QX is parallel to TR, RX and TQ both act as transversals, but only one of those gives us alternate interior angles. TQ does not give us alternate interior angles here and here. XR does give us alternate interior angles. So we can establish then that angle TRM is congruent to angle QXM. And that's because of the alternate interior angles theorem. And we now can state that triangle XMQ is congruent to triangle RMT by angle, angle, side. I hope you've enjoyed the video proofs I've done for you today with angle, angle, side and angle, side, angle.